Hello friends, I am Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our video tutorial series on G plus one building detailing using Tecla structures. So friends in the previous video we had done the detailing of our columns. In this video we will start with the detailing of our starter bars. So let's get started. So as we had seen in the previous video in our structural drawings we have columns of two sizes that is C1 and C2 and we have our section of footing here you can see that there is one starter bars here if we go back to our drawing and observe suppose I want to view along grid 5 so I'll simply go to my windows view list and then go to grid 5 and open that okay so I'm zooming in you can select this and go to views and navigate or toggle between 2d and 3d view so I want my 3d view here we can observe that there is no starter bars provided so we need to provide this for that we'll go to our applications and components and then type star tar starter so we'll select this starter bars for footings let us go and change its properties so we'll double click on it and change the properties here i want one number of stirrups at a spacing of say 100 mm this length is given in the structural drawing that is 300 so it is okay i'm okay with that this extension i want 500 mm so i'll press 500 here now i want bars of grade fe 500 so i'll do fe 500 here my stirrup size will be 8 mm that's good but my size of my longitudinal bars will be 16 mm because the maximum size of longitudinal bars for both my for both my columns c1 and c2 is 16 mm so we can select bars of 16 mm or more than 16 mm for my starter bars so we'll select 16 mm here we'll simply change this and go type 16 here we can also change it from here 16 main bar okay so you can also change that from there and in the location we have here so this is our column sizes so our column size for this is 230 into 230 for column number c1 so i'll go and insert that here 230 and 230 so we'll click on modify apply and okay so we're going to select the footing since all these three footings along 5 have sizes of C1 so I'll simply select this footing and click on it so it will take some time to insert the starter bars so the starter bars have been inserted you can see this this height is 500 and this is 300 so you can see that it is visible from up so I'll right click on it and then click on interrupt I'll select it again and then we can see that the spacing from the bottom is 100 mm so i want to give a clear cover of 75 mm as i had given in the case of my bars for footing so i'll click on modify and then apply so now you can see that it has come to the level of the bars of foundation so it is okay now we can simply select the starter bars again and then reinforce all these three I'll close this and then open tile vertically so this is our plan these three columns one two and three all have sizes of c1 i want to insert starter bars in all my remaining footings for that i'll go to my applications and components again and double click on it after that i want to change these properties so now I want to insert my starter bars for my other columns of sizes C2. So I'll right click on it and click on interrupt. After that, I'll go to my applications and components, double click on my starter bars for footing. And after that, we can change the location. Here we have sizes for C2 as 300 into 230. So I'll simply change its size 300 into 230. All other properties will remain the same so I'll click on modify and then apply and then ok. So I have done the necessary changes. Now 
I need to simply apply this. So I'll open my grids 6, 7 and 8. So I'll go to my views. I'll just close this. I'll go to my windows view list. I need to open my grid 6, 7 and 8. So I'll open all these grids and then I'll close it. I'll toggle it to 3D view, switch to 3D or plane and then apply. Go to the application components. As you can see, this is my 300 and 230. Okay. I'll simply apply it on my footings. So I have applied that. So my starter bars have been applied for grid 8. Similarly, I'll insert my starter bars for my other grids. So now I have applied my starter bars to my entire model. So I'll close this. So friends, that's all for today. In the next video, we'll continue reinforcing our structural members. So friends, if you like this video, please share it with your friends and please do comment below your feedback and let us know which topics you are interested in because we go through each and every comment. Bye. See you in the next video.